Hello and peace be with you. Welcome to Let Us Pray. At Let Us Pray, we believe in the collective power of prayer. We believe that when individuals come together to pray for each other, the energy and intention of their prayers can have a profound and positive impact on the world around us. We believe that through the practice of prayer, we can connect with a higher power and experience the peace and comfort that comes from a life of faith. We invite you to join our community and let us pray together. Today, we're focusing on healing a broken heart. If you or a loved one is experiencing heartbreak, we invite you to leave a comment with your name or the name of the person you would like us to pray for. Our community of believers will join together to pray for you and for all those who have requested prayer. Heartbreak is a painful and difficult experience. It can be caused by a variety of things, such as a breakup, the loss of a loved one, or the disappointment of unfulfilled expectations. No matter what the cause, heartbreak can leave us feeling lost, alone, and hopeless. But the good news is that we serve a loving and compassionate God who is always with us and who desires to bring healing and restoration to our lives. In the Bible, we see many examples of God comforting and restoring those who are suffering. For example, in Psalm 34 verse 18, it says, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. So how can we receive healing for a broken heart? Here are a few things to consider. Acknowledge your pain. The first step in healing a broken heart is to acknowledge the pain that you are feeling. It's okay to feel hurt, sad, or angry. These feelings are a natural part of the healing process. When we acknowledge our pain, we can begin to work through it and find healing. Turn to God in prayer. One of the most powerful things we can do when our heart is broken is to turn to God in prayer. When we bring our needs and our pain to God, He hears us and is moved by our sincere prayers. He wants to bring healing to our lives and can do so in ways that are beyond our understanding. Find support and encouragement from others. Healing a broken heart can be a lonely and isolating experience. It's important to surround ourselves with people who can offer support and encouragement as we journey towards healing. This might include friends, family, a pastor, or other spiritual leader, or a professional counselor. These people can provide a listening ear, offer words of comfort and encouragement, and pray with us as we seek God's healing. Trust in God's timing. Sometimes, we might feel like God is taking too long to bring healing to our lives. We may wonder why it's taking so long or why he seems to be silent. But it's important to remember that God's timing is not our timing. He sees the bigger picture and knows what is best for us. If we trust in his timing and have faith that he is working things out for our good, Romans 8 verse 28, we can find peace and comfort even in the midst of heartbreak. Allow God to work in your life. In order to receive healing for a broken heart, we must be willing to allow God to work in our lives. This might mean letting go of our own plans or expectations and surrendering to God's will. It might also mean facing difficult truths about ourselves or our circumstances and making the necessary changes to allow for healing to take place. It can be hard to trust in God's plans, especially when we are in the midst of heartbreak. But if we are willing to submit to him and let him lead us, he will guide us towards the healing that we need. Rely on the power of the Holy Spirit. The Bible tells us that we have been given the gift of the Holy Spirit, who is a source of strength, guidance, and healing in our lives. John 14 verse 26. When we rely on the power of the Holy Spirit, we can experience a deeper level of healing and transformation. This might involve seeking the guidance of the Holy Spirit through prayer, reading the Bible, or attending church. It can also involve seeking the help of other believers who are filled with the Holy Spirit and can offer prayer and support. Remember that healing is a journey. It's important to remember that healing a broken heart is a journey, not a destination. It's not something that happens overnight, and it may involve setbacks or challenges along the way. But as we trust in God and seek His healing, we can be assured that He is with us every step of the way. He will never leave us or forsake us, Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, and He will ultimately bring us to a place of wholeness and restoration. Now let us pray for healing a broken heart. Dear God, we come to you today with heavy hearts. We have been hurt, 
and we are in need of your healing touch. We know that you are close to the brokenhearted and that you desire to bring comfort and restoration to our lives. We ask that you would pour out your love and grace on us and that you would heal the wounds that we have suffered. Help us to trust in your timing and to allow you to work in our lives. Fill us with the peace and comfort that only you can provide and give us the strength to keep moving forward. We know that healing is a journey and we ask that you would be with us every step of the way. Help us to rely on the power of the Holy Spirit and to find support and encouragement from those around us. We pray for all those who are suffering from a broken heart and we ask that you would bring healing and restoration to their lives. May they experience the peace and comfort that comes from knowing you and may they be filled with hope and joy as they journey towards healing. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Thank you for joining us today on Let Us Pray. We hope that this sermon and prayer for healing a broken heart has been a source of comfort and encouragement to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. If you know someone who is struggling with a broken heart, please share this video with them. They may find comfort and hope in the words we have shared today. If you or a loved one is in need of healing, we invite you to leave a comment with your name or the name of the person you would like us to pray for. Our community of believers will join together to pray for you and for all those who have requested prayer. If you have any specific prayer requests, please let us know in the comments. We are here to pray.